That's my first Canadian order. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose, where I make and sell scrunchies, macrame items, home decor, accessories, a whole bunch of goodies like that. This is one of the supervisors, if you don't know, this is Cleo, she's our recent rescue. Our little monkey pup, who is always very, very needy, so I apologise that she's interrupting this intro. But in this week's video, I'm prepping for next week's market and I am so, 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 so excited about this market. Apparently so is Cleo. I'm gonna be attending the Lincolnshire Makers Market and it's at the Session House in Spalding and I cannot not wait. I really, really hope, fingers crossed, that it's a really good event. But next week as well, if you have watched one of the previous vlogs where I did mention it, Alex is due home. He has been out in deployment, is that the right word? And he's been gone for four-ish months now, so I cannot wait to have him home. So it might be a mix of just little clips here and there. But it's Friday the 23rd, it's just gone at midday and I've got a bunch of packages that have arrived. Whoa, look at all those colours. So I'm running low or I've run out of quite a few of my satins. Oh, there's another parcel there. Ah, right, so this one is like a tester. I don't think that's the right colour match, so hopefully another one will be. This is like the outside of it, so it's not really shiny, but this is the Lauren. And then a pumpkin. Pumpkin's not a very popular shade. It's just a lovely orange colour, but I'm finally running out. So this is my usual supplier, and every once in a while I will buy from different suppliers. And my aqua one, I'll show you, which is this one, was from a different supplier, and as you can tell, they're not the same colour. I'll just pop that to the side for now. Obviously I'm not going to let it go to waste but I wasn't planning on adding another blue for a long time because I've got quite a lot of blues. And Mia which is my baby pink. This cost me so much money as well. Everyone is feeling the sting of inflation. The fabric I buy has just been getting more and more expensive every single time I order it. So this is my Miley fabric, the Smiley Face one. I've spoken about this in the past but the price of this now is disgusting. It's so expensive which is unfortunate because it's my most popular print but it just keeps going up and up it's my stella one this is named after my mum and it's been quite popular oh alex's wild deodorant has arrived i've also ordered two new macrame shades which i'm so excited about Ooh, i forgot about this i don't like how this feels don't know if i'm gonna be able to use that which is a shame because it was expensive this is like a foily black and silver satin i wanted more satins in patterns but they're really hard to find and this unfortunately is quite a scratchy fabric oh uh, i don't know if i'm gonna be able to use that because last time i tried to sew this sort of fabric it just wouldn't sew it was just fraying and pulling apart i'm not 100 percent happy with that but we'll see how it sews this is where i got this fabric from and i can see straight away 
it's not the same. I don't know if it's going to show up, but it is slightly different. This is close to this. This has a lot more of a green hue to it. Oh dear. When I went to reorder the fabric, they've completely changed the listing so all the names of the satins were all different for that supplier anyway. That was the closest looking one. But when the macrame arrives, hopefully at some point today, I will also show you that and unbox that. It looks nothing like the colour. So I did buy a different shade from them because it, this is why it looks nothing like it. When I've just gone to reorder it, this is the one I apparently bought. I don't think I did. Like I get it's different from the screen, but it looks so different. So I've just reordered the exact same one, which is this one, which apparently this one is, and I'm just gonna have to hope. Cause it definitely wasn't called this when I last bought it, the name they've put on it. I really hope it's the same one. Good morning guys. <laughs> I'm about to show you an extremely unprofessional side of me. So I do apologize. I'm gonna have a mini rant. <laughs> First of all, I've thrown on the most normal person outfit. I'm wearing color, which makes me a bit this is like an old tie-dye top I made probably like 15 years ago. I'm wearing blue jeans, which I've recently started doing only because I got given a few free pairs. And then I'm wearing my lilac. Can you see lilac crocs with a matching scrunchie? So I feel very not quite myself today, but I'm comfy. My macrame did arrive last night and I need to open this, but I'm gonna film an unboxing for like shorts and stuff. So it'll be like an ASMR one. I'm really excited about that. However, I've had somebody, it feels like they're trying to beef me on YouTube. <laughs> so we're gonna quickly talk about Karens on the internet, not being able to please every single person out there and three, eco-friendly packaging. I'm not sure how much I've spoken about it in these vlogs, but I use 100% eco-friendly and recyclable packaging. When I first launched in October, I had eco-friendly packaging apart from tape because brown paper tape and eco-friendly recyclable tape is expensive, especially for a startup small business. And the aim was to get to the point where I could use brown tape. When I finally got there and after a few sales and stuff, I had the money to invest in that. And I was really excited because I was now 100% eco-friendly packaging. But unfortunately, like I said, it's expensive. My battery's flashing, be right back. The majority of paper packaging, however, is not waterproof. And my packaging at the minute that I have is only a certain size. I had a big order recently and I chose to send it in a recycled reused box, but it was going all the way to the States, so I chose to put it inside a poly mailer. A poly mailer that is made from recycled materials and it is also recyclable. I have two different ones. Someone has decided to point out that I am using a poly mailer in one of my videos and I stuck on an I'm recyclable sticker on there so people know. Because if I receive a package that's just a normal poly mailer and I don't know if it's recyclable or not, I'm always like, mm, do I pop it in my recycling or not? So I like to put it on there so people know they can pop it in the recycling. However, I am not solely responsible for your country's recycling plan and how you recycle. I don't know how every single country does their recycling, so I apologize for that. <laughs> this person wants to know the exact recyclable number and type of plastic that the poly mailers are. I have minimum funds, minimum resources, yet I am still doing my best and I am still so proud to say that all of my packaging is 100% recyclable. Unfortunately, one of the downsides to running a small business or any business, you will not please everyone. So not that I should have to, but I've reached out to my suppliers to ask them if they could let me know what sort of plastic count it is, what recyclable number it is. But I just needed to get that off my chest. Like, what more do you want me to do? It's still never good enough, is it? There's always gonna be someone that doesn't think you're doing the best. But anyway, on a positive note, Probably not that positive because it's in an Amazon box, so guaranteed this person's now gonna give me stick for using Amazon. I'm gonna set up my phone and film an ASMR unboxing this. cute. You can probably see that I've got more of this one just because it worked out at a better price to just buy 300 meters of this one and 200 meters of this one so I love them. I hope you guys do too.
I've just finished up the black and the latte lanyard that I'd done the other day. And then the baby pink and the lilac. How cute! They're really nice colours, but I've tried to mess around with where they would go in the rainbow. <laughs> And there's nowhere they could really go. So I'm gonna have to like rejig or rethink the rainbow. I don't think it's gonna sew. I really don't. The last time I had fabric like this, it was fraying everywhere, but we're gonna give it a go. Is it worth me maybe just trying to sew up one and just see how like secure and stable it is? No, it is holding up. It's holding up. I would like for these to not be a disaster because then I'm not wasting one money and two resources because I'd have to do something with it because I don't create waste when it comes to this business. I don't know. What do we think? I mean, they're cute. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Can you see? They look like little jigsaw pieces. Oh my word. I am so wetting it's so hot it's like 30 degrees today and i'm kind of in a rush but it's half 12 and i've just posted that i'll be doing a giveaway at around one ish so i thought it would be quite cool to give away one of the lanyards but have the winner choose whichever color that they would want to have so all my lanyards i'm keeping as neutral colors so i thought this way if i do a giveaway the winner can choose what color that they would like so they can either choose one of the actual collections or they could choose one of the colours and I'll just make it for them but the lilac and the pink look so cute. I did finish them off yesterday, I really like them but I need to get rig on because I need to take content just to show off like all the different colours but I went and bought a fan. I definitely was not the only person doing that today. It's the Challenge Digital Tower Fan. Oop, why is everything off to be in plastic? Can you see it? You can't really see it but on the back there's like these little things and the little remote sits in it. How cute's that? Happy with that. Cleo? didn't film much at all yesterday it was so hot i think it was like 30 summit degrees but i honestly can't remember what i've shown you but the pink and lilac wristlets are made and i'm pretty sure i shared on social media that they were going to launch on wednesday i don't i need to check if that's true because if i have posted that that was not a good idea because that is the day alex is due to come home <laughs> i posted that i was going to drop them yesterday at 6 p.m which i didn't do that's professional God, what is wrong with me? But anyway, I posted a giveaway for a lanyard. So the winner gets to choose like whatever color or they can customize and choose one of the other colors. And that's gone down pretty well. I did make up a bunch of these ones that I wasn't like the biggest fan of, but they're really cute actually. And I have just shown you, I've sat and cut up so much elastic and like prepped it all for future scrunchies. I've been editing. I did knit B&M again yesterday and I picked up more of those little stackable drawers. They're just so handy, but I'm pushing it for time. But I got an order yesterday from the lovely Leanne and she has ordered the black macrame lanyard. So I need to quickly parcel that up and then I can get that to the post office while I'm out because I have a doctor's appointment in like 20 minutes. Oh, 
I'm not gonna have time to parcel that up. Never mind, I'm gonna have to go to the doctors now. <laughs> I need to do it now, I need to do it now. I was like rushing trying to get it parceled up. I was just about to do the shipping label and I thought if I don't go now, I'm gonna miss my appointment. <laughs> just getting the label now for it. But when I was getting ready this morning, I sort of started thinking like, this is an exciting week. Alex is home in a couple of days. And then the market that I've been really looking forward to is this weekend. And it's got so many incredible makers and creators and stalls there. Prince by Millie is gonna be there. I love her channel. I love watching her videos. I will leave it linked down below. Hopefully I'll get to meet her this weekend. It's just, it's an exciting week and I have so much to do. <laughs> I need to get on with it. There we go, Leanne's label. Leanne, thank you so much. I really hope you like your lanyard. I'm not going to make every single one of these into scrunchies, I'm just going to make enough for the market. Hello everyone, so it's 7.05 and I've just got in from work and I got an order which is really cool. Elaine has ordered, oh from Canada, oh I didn't see that, that's my first Canadian order. Every order is exciting but it's my first Canadian order with four rows, that's so exciting. Elaine thank you so much. What have you ordered? The Clover scrunchie and the Clover wristlet, so a little matching set, I love that. Oh amazing, thank you so much so much Elaine. Very quickly, I need to get these wristlets up <laughs> because if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. I've got myself solid caramel coffee. So I managed to get all that sorted. So I've put up the pink ones, the lilac ones, I've edited the homepage and I've also taken out everything from the new in section on my website because I've just been adding every new item up there every time I dropped a new item but I wasn't removing other things so there was quite a few on there. Edited the homepage and sent out some email marketing so I'm just going to do a little bit of sewing. I'm going to package up that order and that's probably going to be it for tonight. I did manage to put the labels in all of the Stella scrunchies so they just need sewing up into tubes but I have so much to do. <laughs>
Hey guys, Megan from the future here. I'm just editing this video and it is about six hours worth of footage. It's ridiculous, so I am gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna split it into two, otherwise there won't be a vlog on Wednesday. So I am so sorry that this one's a little bit random and all over the place. But I just wanna quickly say thank you so much to Leanne, Abigail and Karen for your orders, the ones I just packaged in those last clips. I know it's cheesy to say, but none of this would be possible if it wasn't for you guys supporting the channel and the shop. Honestly, I, I can't, it blows my mind. Every Every single time I see the packaging videos or I'm packaging orders and things I just I'm so grateful so guys thank you so much and thank you so much for watching please give it a massive thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you aren't all my social media including the website for Fauna Rose is linked down below so feel free to head on over there and check it out apart from that I'll catch you guys in part two in the next one bye